Okay, for the purposes of this video, I've installed my soil moisture and temperature probes right here in the shadow of the tripod, which is not how you would do it out in the field. You'd want these far enough away from the tripod so they wouldn't fall in the shadow of the tripod. As well, you're going to dig the hole um, to the point where you want to do your measurements. If you want to do your measurements two inches from ground level and know what the temperature and moisture is there, that's where you'd put them. If you want them three feet down, that's where you'd put them. Okay. As well, I would, I would normally use a piece of conduit to protect these cables rather than just lie them out on the ground like this. I'd put them in conduit and I'd bury them in the ground. I'd have the conduit exit the ground somewhere near the center of the tripod and then I would plug up the open end of the conduit or I could make a service loop so that it didn't fill with water and whatnot. It's not terrible that it does but it's just a precaution to take um, because the water can run back to your probes and give you false readings. Uh, you can see that I've got the, wi the excess wire bundled here on the lower mast that uh, the devices run up the mast clamp the uh, sensor uh, electronics housings to the mast, run the rest of the cable cabling into the uh, housing, and sealed off the housing using the, uh, the black group that we provide uh, around the cable so that the bugs and moisture and whatnot won't go in there. I've tie wrapped all of the cables together to the uh, tie wrap holder that's there in the logger, and uh, that's pretty much the entire assembly.